Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and we are looking in on a, a finish, finished bin, if you will. Um, as you can tell, this is super dry, and I only fed the underneath part in my attempt to get all of the worms to move their little wormy booties down to the lower level. And you can tell, this is dry dry, this is like super dry. And I still have some little resistant, stubborn worms that refuse to go down to the bottom. So I'm going to give it a little bit of fluff here. And I am going to be needing some of the castings pretty soon. So, um, nope, that's a grub. Not cool. Party foul. Um, I'm going to June bug things in here. No, thank you. Okay, sidetracked. So, I'm just going to get everything to an equal moisture here. This is what I do to try and encourage the worms. Oh, hey, look. That is what is left of Eat My Shirt. The tag and the stitching around the, um, the shirt. I'm going to call that a done deal. So, that's coming out now. But yeah, so anything that's not done done, probably next week is going to get sifted. So whoever is not getting out of the pool, by that time, is going to have to go through the process of being sifted, which I'm sure doesn't, it's not super awesome for them. I do, I do it. But I know that it's better for the worms if I don't, because there is the, the chance they could be damaged in the screens. But this is all about recycling my food and items into usable compost, vermicompost. So that's what this is all about. This is not about, it is about worm husbandry, because if you don't take good care of your worms, they will not do what you need them to do. So it is about worm husbandry, but it is about making sure that I get um, what I'm looking for out of the situation. That sounds like I'm a horrible person, but, you know, there's always going to be the people, oh, you're being mean to your worms. Okay, well, if they were super upset about it, um, they would get the hell out of this layer and go in the bottom layer where it is nice and moist. I was looking for a pistachio shell. Sometimes people ask, how long does it take for the worms to eat fill in the blank? And I just saw a pistachio shell, which I know I put in here only one time, because that's all it does to remind you that that's going to be a pain in your butt and you're going to be sifting that out for a year. It has been a year. Those pistachio nuts, just the shells, have been in here for a year. Okay, so they're still not gone, and it's been a year. That just kind of gives you a little gauge of how long it's going to take to do that. So I'm going to take off this top part here and see what the bottom next layer is doing. So number two layer. Oh, heavy. Okay. Layer number two. Still has food in it. Oh, that's not food. That that's a rock from an ornamental plant. So quite a few worms in this one. Still see some bedding in here. Still a good moisture level, really. Overall. No I mean that's a avocado skin. probably drier than I would keep it on purpose, but definitely nothing that is inhibiting them from health and happiness here. This is a scrape from around the edge that's pure castings. They do that when they make their little trips around the sides. So that's been all fluffed up. 
And I'm going to take this off and see what the next layer does. All right, so next layer down. This is totally castings. There's some remnant paper in here. Looks like an avocado shell. But I think, what is this? Oh, it's an avocado and it's growing. And these are my little worm farmers that are growing the avocado tree in pure darkness in a worm bin. Aren't worms awesome? Yes, I'm going to save that and put it in a pot and see if I can grow it. After all, the channel is called Plan Obsessed. Even though it's mostly about worms, the worms are all about the plants. Because I'm all about the plants. Although I will admit, I spend more time with the worms. How does that happen? You know what I do? I'm going to dump this in that second layer where I am. Um, it's not totally done, but it's certainly quite, quite a bit more done. So I'm going to put most of this in that middle layer. And we have a, the other half of the avocado pit. No stem on this one, though. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. Grab some of my moist bedding. This has been aging for several weeks. Got a couple of bags here. Various things. Got some banana avocado. Boy, did that make me mad. Opened it up. Brand new avocado. Yeah. Well, my loss is their gain. So bananas, looks like a lime, some onions, um, radish ends, uh, tea bags, uh, more bananas, uh, tomatillo, skin, more limes. You sensing a theme? I'm going to grab another couple handfuls of the, the bedding. Okay. Just going to kind of, because this is in the bottom layer, I'm just going to incorporate this all together because it is going to be two trays deep and no bugs or anything is going to get in here because it's so far down. So hopefully the worms will make their way down from layer number two and one because there's something super awesome in here to eat. Here's my grit. So you have to get these every once in a while. You find these at the store. Love them. Here's tray number two. It's fitting a little poofed up at the time, at this moment, because there's not, it hasn't settled down yet. But there's still a good concentration of worms in here. Plastic. Food. All right, so I'm going to kind of tamp that down just a little bit so that the top layer fits a little better. I'm 
And as you can tell, doubling the space of the, the one layer down has caused it to sit up a little bit. But the worms will do their thing and it will be flattened out pretty soon. So next week we can sift this, put the remaining back in. This is why you take the windows out of your envelopes before you shred them. Okay. Well, that's it for the DIY home worm bin. And uh, there's one of the watchers out there that still needs to message me an address to send a DIY bin to because they did win. You know who you are. Uh, message me either on the Facebook group, uh, Experimental Worm Bins, or here on Facebook. Let me know where I can send that. It's kind of collecting dust over here. All right, well, that's it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, hit the little, the little bell icon so you know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.